Hi everybody, it's Honest John. <coughs> Still in uh, Pensacola, Florida. And the uh, show is tonight. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, now the pundits and the commentators are all fond of saying that we are having a fundamental debate about the role of government. What they leave out is the terms of the debate. See, here is what conservatives actually believe. Whether they're Republicans, Democrats, or Libertarians, the basic beliefs of conservatives are that the government should do nothing for most of its citizens. They believe government exists only to help the rich. And a few months ago they were pretty brazen about it, with Paul Ryan coming right out and saying we have to eliminate Medicare and Social Security. But then when they realized that people really didn't like that stuff, they walked the rhetoric back. But they still believe the same things. And it's come out in the presidential race with Rick Perry. He, evidently he didn't get the memo because he was still talking about Social Security being a Ponzi scheme. And Herman Cain who's talking about lowering taxes for the rich and raising them on everybody else. If conservatives actually achieve power, they will eliminate Social Security. They will eliminate Medicare. They will eliminate poverty programs, any educational assistance, unemployment, and anything else that actually helps 99% of the people. What they will keep is the tax breaks for the rich and corporate welfare. I mean, they will scream when anything is done to assist the poor and the middle class. But they stand solid in defense of the rich to the point where we're not going to have a jobs bill because it would inconvenience the rich. And they talk about broadening the tax base, which is code for raising taxes on the poor and the middle class. And when they talk about reforming the tax code, they aren't talking about making it fairer, they're talking about increasing the inequality that exists between the rich and the rest of us. See, it's all about the favored few. It's all about the favored few. If you really look at what conservatives believe, it is no different than the kind of government that Muammar Gaddafi was running. In his case, it was favoring his family and his tribe and his friends at the expense of everybody else in the country. In the case of conservatives, it's all about the rich, the favored few, the corporations. They're still talking about lowering the corporate tax rate even though we know that most corporations aren't paying any taxes. Let me tell you something. The reason that America is in the shape that it's in is because conservatives have dominated since the Reagan administration. And in that time, income inequality has become so pronounced that it's impossible to ignore. We have Occupy Wall Street now and this is a last ditch attempt to achieve fairness, to achieve America the way our founding fathers envisioned it. If conservatives win the next election, 
that dream will die. And let me tell you something. The day after that election, I'm going to go out and buy a gun. And the rest of you better too. Because violent revolution will become inevitable. It will be the only way to get America back. I'll be ready. Will you? Thanks for listening.